Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another, um, what I call comment board sermon. And so I thought this would be good to make into, um, you know, just a video lesson. I'm going back and forth with um, this guy named Jack Burton. And he's a real person. You know, we talked on a hangout. So it's not just, um, you know, like a sock account or a troll or anything like that. So, um, you know, and that I appreciate actually talking to somebody. But, you know, it's important to um, hammer this point home. Because, you know, I appear on, you know, certain um, hangouts on other people's channels. And then, you know, we appear friendly, you know, and we laugh and stuff like that. And so, you know, that's, uh, I don't want people to get confused, you know, with what's really, really going on and how sinister the teachings are uh, with everybody else, you know, except for me. And so that I've seen. And so uh, Jack's comments, like, I personally agree with the thing being the mark and your doctrine. Uh, what I don't agree is that if God hasn't revealed something to someone, it means by default that they're a Satanist or Antichrist. I don't buy that ETT, Bible Defender, etc. are serving Satan. All these brothers want to serve the Lord and get the hell out of here. No, they don't. Okay, and that's the important key part. They do, but they want to go through tribulation and, and great tribulation, which are two different things. Okay. And so I disagree with that statement. And so this is, um, again, the many statements that you made here and then yesterday, I don't, I don't understand. You know, like, how do you not get it at this point? Nothing wrong with fellowship for those who seek wisdom. That part I agree with, okay? Because people like ETT and Bible Defender are the few people on this entire flat earth that know the Bible at a deep level. And so it's kind of like same analogy I've used with golf. If I play golf, there's a guy actually at the golf course that I was a member at who's not the nicest person, you know, just strange, quirky, but he has an incredible short game and which is one of my weaknesses. So sometimes I'll play with him just to like learn from him, you know, and so to watch him and the way that he plays. And then um, he's not insanely mean, but he's just he's just a weird guy. And so I won't like refuse around a round of golf with him, you know, because, you know, in that part of his game, he's better than me. So I'll learn something. And so that doesn't mean that. I believe that he's a great guy and I'll vouch for him. And yeah, he's, he's really funny. He's great. You should golf. I wouldn't say that. I, I would say exactly why I golf with him. And it's the same thing here. Okay. I don't vouch for their character or anything like that. I don't know them personally, but I certainly don't vouch for, you know, their doctrine. And so it just so happens that they're very deep into the Bible. And if you haven't figured out, Jack, at this point, this late in the game, that a majority of the people it would teach in the Bible are on God's left hand side. Okay. If you haven't figured that out yet, like, are you kidding me? Tahar, Ken Hove, and all these people, they're all the same, okay? They're all actors. How the hell have you not figured that out by now, okay? Are you like a, are you just a, a zombie, okay? Like, what, where are you? Like, you, you believe that the earth is flat and stationary. How many actors do you need on the earth to make that type of deception happen? A lot, okay? Just to answer the question for you. And guess what? It's the same number that is prophesied for the mark of the beast. Big shocker, right? And then you add some, which is going to be the flat earthers too. And so how have you not figured that out by now? Okay, how have, not just you, anybody, how have you not figured that out by now that people in your family, everybody around you are just a bunch of actors? Are you kidding me? Like, how many times does 33 and 666 have to show up and on all these news things and all that kind of stuff? All these quote unquote celebrities and news people's names and people interview, like how many times do you need to see that now? This is ridiculous. You people are so dumb. And I really wish I could actually say it to your face because you're just a bunch of idiots if you haven't figured that out by now. Okay. So I agree with your statement. Nothing wrong with fellowship for those who seek wisdom. Fair enough. Okay, I agree with that. But they're not seeking what you said here, truth and the Lord. Because truth and the Lord is one to one. Okay, because Christ is the truth. And so they're not seeking the truth. Okay. First and foremost, those two individuals feel they're a partial fulfillment of Revelation 11, which is Antichrist. Okay. And so that's not a light matter. Okay, that's not just... Oh, you know, I think this and you think that or you think the one of two witnesses is Moses and I think it's, you know, Enoch. That's not a light matter. I'm not, that's not a light matter either. But um, uh, that's not a, a small thing. Okay. Wake up, dummy. Okay. They masquerade around as people who are a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. And if that's not true, then what are they? Okay. They're, they're not just mistaken. Okay. You don't think they know what they're doing. Are you kidding me? At this point now, with all the stuff that's been exposed on the Hebrew Israelites and the Christian church, anybody masquerading around as the two witnesses is Antichrist. How have you not, how is that like hard for you to process? Jack, I'm asking you. Are you kidding me? You idiot. That's ridiculous. 
we all were under God's delusion and Roblox at one time. I don't disagree with that. And who removed that? God did. So now what we're evaluating is like, hey, God removed these roadblocks from my mind, which let me see, what did God remove from you? And then if it's different, then we're dealing with a different God. Okay. How have you not figured that out by now? You're, you're an adult with a brain, I suspect. Like, how have you not figured that out by now? Are you kidding me? And so we're evaluating and checking everybody's sources. Just like we check the sources of the ball earthers. Hey, show me those, show me those citations. Okay. And then we check the sources of our government. Show, show me those sources. Yeah, let me, let me read that. You know, those studies and all that kind of stuff. And then we're checking everybody's sources. I'm checking your sources and I'm finding what your people are really all about. Okay. You're just a bunch of actors and you love evil and you love lies because you like being around other liars to make you comfortable that, okay, at least we have some lies here. Okay, great, perfect. And then continue on with the hangout. That's you people, okay? Me and the few people that come by here and the very, very few people that come by here, we don't wanna hear a single lie, not, not one, okay? Because it just irks our soul, okay? And so if somebody's masquerading around as the two witnesses, the fulfillment of the two witnesses, partial fulfillment, then uh, that irks us if that's not a true statement. Okay, and then even potentially more sinister is their teaching on the mark of the beast, which you say that you agree with me on. So how does that not irk your soul? What's wrong with your soul? My soul is working fine. The souls of the just complain continually, okay? I complain about every single other person that I see teaching, representing the Bible. Every single person, okay? Including you now. And so I complain about that because I'm like, how do these people not get it? Because it's so simple, okay? And so you're part of the problem now, okay? So uh, I don't understand. And then these dumbos, you say that they wanna be out of here. No, they don't wanna be out of here until after the great tribulation. Do you not understand their doctrine now at this point? Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, are you, did you have the music on while the videos are playing? Like, <clears throat> you're not paying attention or like, <clears throat> well, how do you not know that by now? We've had three debates, they're all like hours, three hours, four hours long. <clears throat> Let me remind people, ATT's position is that we're not in tribulation now. And not only that, you, you will not be allowed, quote unquote, allowed to seek salvation until after the great tribulation. Okay. And they don't want out of here, Jack, you dummy, until after the great tribulation. Okay. Which is Revelation 16. And then they believe that that hail are the missiles. Okay. Which that's how the hell does that make sense? And so wake up, Jack, you idiot. And so they're baiting people into that evil. And so are you now with your stupid comments, which I guarantee you're going to leave up here to advertise how stupid you are. Okay. Cause everybody just, for whatever reason, they want to come by my channel and advertise how dumb they are. Okay. Like you and in times teacher and Bible defender and all that kind of stuff. So you don't think people right now in Ukraine and worldwide, now I posted a video, even people in Canada, which is like a first world country, a quarter of them are relying on government assistance just for food, basic things. One in four. Okay. That's a big percentage. Okay. Oh, God doesn't care about 25%. No, no. He's, he's only worried about the 75. You think the 75 are doing well if 25 are needing that type of assistance? And then, oh, so God doesn't care about all the people in Ukraine and Russia and all that kind of stuff. And then in Ethiopia and like all these different places that have all these wars going, oh, God doesn't care about that. No, no. He just cares about Jack and End Times and Bible Defender, which is a bunch of morons who get on YouTube uh, hangouts and don't know what the hell they're talking about. God cares about you three retards. Right. Okay. That makes sense. But all these people getting their homes bombed and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just whatever. You know what Hurricane said? This Dumbo that also came on the hangout. He's like, they got legs. They can run. That's what he said. That's what these people, they're disgusting vermin. Okay, like Jack is, if he continues along that line of thinking. And so they're Satanists. If you haven't figured that out, only a Satanist would look on the world and be like, oh, you got legs. You can run away from the bombing in Russia. That's what they said. That's what literally, I'm not making up. That's what the guy said on my on ETT's hangout. And so he's like, yeah, we're supposed to, you know, be fruitful and multiply, yada, yada, yada. And so I want people to know that you people are disgusting people, which is why I'm thankful that I, this will be my last year here in the body. And I'm thankful for that. Okay. Cause the truth there is like Jack and, and these people are just mentally retarded. They're deranged people. They're sick in the mind. And then they have the nerve to come here and try and get me to meet them halfway. I'm not going to meet you halfway when I'm running away from you dumbos. Okay. Fast. Okay. Cause you people are just, just low intelligence just in general. And then spiritually like disgusting people. Okay. And so I tell him, I'm like, they are aware that they are lying on many topics. Okay. The two witnesses, Mark of the Beast, the, uh, you know, uh, the virgin birth, all that kind of stuff. Okay. And so, uh, that's, uh, those are, uh, the, vir the virgin birth, that's a blasphemy. 
Okay. That's an unforgivable sin, Jacques. I guess you don't read the Bible. I don't know how you didn't figure that out by now or whatever. It's not a big deal to you, but no one cares about your opinion. We don't care about you and other idiots on YouTube. We care about what the Bible says. And that's it. And to hell with anybody who's not down with that. To hell with them. Here. Fire. Okay. Death and hell cast in the lake of fire. And then they got these morons who are giving double honors to a man who says that he's never sinned. And then the Bible says that if you say that, then God's going to dump hot coals on your head. And so they're going to get that too. And you, hopefully, if you continue along with this teaching. So um, I don't know what the hell, like, what's, what's wrong, man? Like, how dumb do you have to be to make statements like that? And now it's on my comment board and then perfect. And then these retards think that they're the angels that are teaching, uh, spreading the gospel in the last days, okay? I don't know what to say, man. You know, I'll just write you off as a lost cause. And if you write anything else dumb like this, I mean, I'll leave this unless you delete it. I'll just block you because it's going to help you because you're stupid. Um, I don't know how anybody could have an issue with that, okay, with what I'm saying, that they're Satanists. Because, like, first of all, if you're teaching the incorrect thing on the mark of the beast, the, you're risking body and soul for you, for sure, and then for others, which is more sinister. Okay, and I'll read Revelation 22, but I have a feeling if I read it, you won't understand it. <laughs> You'll be like, ah, whatever, you'll just forget. And, ah, that's God, this is a recommendation. You think Revelation 22 is a recommendation? Are you kidding me, you dumbo? Jack, you idiot. We care about what God says, not you retards, because you people are mental. Then he's like, you say that, but then you go on live streams all the time and say that they are possible candidates for the elect. They are. They absolutely are candidates for the elect. Why? Because they have a valid testimony. Okay, because they present their testimony publicly, openly. Okay, and at least those two, they don't charge for it like their elder does. And so in order to have a possibility to be of the elect, you have to have the testimony. It means that you have to have the spirit of prophecy. You have to understand the, the Bible and then make present a case for it, either in your own mind or publicly if you choose to do so, which they do. So they are. And that's why I say all the time, it ultimately comes down to me, what me and ETT teach is because it's either him or me. And so... Or, and not me personally necessarily, but the doctrine. You just think of that. My quote-unquote doctrine versus his quote-unquote doctrine. It has to come down to him and I, or the Bible is not true. Because him and I are the only two people that teach the flat earth and that this earth is hell. And so I don't take anybody else seriously. And so, but we have different teachings on the mark of the beast, on uh, the two witnesses, uh, the virgin birth, and uh, lots of things. Okay. And so... Uh, and how the gospel is going to be preached. And then the list goes on. And so, uh, and then what tribulation, great tri <laughs> tribulation is, okay? And so those are not light things, okay? And so that's, I say that jokingly, okay? That you have to choose between my quote-unquote doctrine, which I've shown and looped, that is looped over 200 and some times, or his, and he doesn't even tell you what the sequence is. He's like, yeah, whatever, maybe this, maybe that. I don't know, I don't know. So does that even sound like anything that you should take seriously? It's a joke, man. Wake up, dummy. And so I'm using uh, sarcasm, okay? There is no debate. If the Bible's true, what I teach has to happen. And the reason I say that is because what I'm teaching is what the Bible says, okay? And then you just need a couple brain cells to figure it out. And then obviously God reminding you, telling you certain things, okay? He doesn't need to tell us about evil people because we can sense evil, okay? That's just baked into us. And so we don't need to look at GMS and think that they're anything that we should be thinking, oh, God's brought them here or something like, are you kidding me? Or Ken Hoven, you know, or anybody like that, because they're just liars. And so uh, that's not hard, okay? You do need God for the subtle things, you know, for example, things like the two witnesses and then the new covenant and all those kind of concepts. But uh, a lot of it is just common sense. That's why I'm comfortable, you know, with my position. So there is no true two options, man. Give me a break. Um, so that's true. And then the reason I do in a sort of, in a sense, and I don't say this, but I do say this once in a while, I, uh, vibe with people who are into the Bible is that there still is a very, very minor chance that we're either not in that generation or the Bible is just not true. And God isn't going to judge the world in righteousness. And then, so I do, um, really, you know, bef bef befriend them in, in that, in that case. Okay. Cause then we were all deceived. And then I say that because like we entertain that option regularly because we're normal people, okay? And then he does too, and I respect that. So he's like, we could be wrong on all of it. And so, you know, if Mystery Babylon is not America, me, ETT, and Bible Fender are all wrong and Satanists or Antichrist or evil or whatever you want to say or just, you know, misguided or whatever. So we have that in common. If our common core teachings are wrong, then we're all three of us are wrong. And then I'll consider them, quote, brothers, virtual brothers, because like, 
we were all deceived in a similar way to different degrees, but in a very similar way. Cause you know, we're, we put a lot of energy towards that. So, um, that's what I told him here. I'm like, because they present a testimony, which is the spirit of prophecy, you have to understand, you know, the prophecies. Um, but I disagree with it. So it's either what they teach or my, I teach. There's no middle ground. Okay. And that's the verse that I quoted, uh, at the end to leave this comment. I'm like, first John two twenty one. I have not written unto you because you know, not the truth, but because you know it. And so these writings, you know, all the, all the Bible are written for people who already know the truth because they've been chosen. And so they're the only people that are going to pick up the words and then understand it. Okay. So let me read this again. First John two twenty one. you add up all those numbers it adds to 24. Okay. And then people like Bible defender will say, Oh no, that numerology is just garbage. And then Mike will come by and say, Oh, that numerology is garbage. No, 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 it's garbage. And so, uh, they're not neutral. They make fun of the sequence. Okay. They joke around amongst each other and eh, whatever. It's a joke. And so they're not making fun of me. They're making fun of God's word dummy. Okay. And so those are all gifts for us to understand that the Bible is the word of God and constructed perfectly. The sequence and then the numbers adding up and all that 33 and 666. It's for a man who has wisdom. Okay. Count the number of the beast. And so they mock God's word. They call it the skibbies and the skipchies. Okay. And then you morons trying to come by my channel and then try and like just blend everything together. And I'm going to give you the boot and then blend you out of here. Okay. You stupid people. If you pipe up again. Okay. And so shut up. It's better for a lot of you people to come by my channel. Just say hi or don't even acknowledge that you're here and just, just listen. Okay. Just keep your mouth shut because you people are stupid. Okay. And evil. And like, I'm going to go and dilute any of my teachings when I wouldn't anyway, but like what, what benefit, did, what does that benefit you, Jack, you dummy? To go halfway with end times. What's he going to do? He's going to save you or whatever. He's going to come and fly over to your house and help you when things really start getting crazy. Him and Bible Defender are going to come knock at your door and bring you food or whatever. What the hell are you talking about? You dummy. Only God can save. And I don't care if any of you idiots uh, have your stupid opinions if they go against what God says. Okay. I'll just give you the boot. Okay. And I'm going to make fun of you like I am right now constantly. Okay. Regularly. Okay. So shut up. First John 2, 21, you add those numbers together, you get 24, 44, okay? It's for the elect. Um, I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because ye know it, okay? And then no lie is of the truth. Wait a minute, that says, I thought that says no lie is of the truth. So how can you fellowship with somebody who has different opinions on a, on a prophecy that's obviously true, like the mark of the beast, you know? And then how can you have different opinion on it? And even the, the Job 9, 24, uh, how can you walk with people like that? And not call them, just point out the fact that they're Satanists. And so I'm friendly with them, mostly in the, in the possibility that the Bible's not true or it's in a future generation, which I believe is highly unlikely at this point. And then, you know, that's, that's where the, the, the friendship stops. Okay. If somebody pushes a button right now and tells me that the Bible from beginning to end is absolutely true, then first of all, I'm probably out of here that day. But, uh, you know, then you just don't associate with anybody at all. Okay. Unless you just call them Satanists and then you can prove it easily with what I teach and you don't even have to go that deep. Just pick a first few and then you'll dismiss everybody. So you can dismiss everybody that I've seen, literally everybody with the flat earth, hell, and then the mark of the beast, everybody goes away except maybe like one or two people, you know, and shout out to, you know, the people that know that they are. And so that's just three. Okay. You'll get rid of everybody. Okay. Except maybe one, two or three people that come by my channel. And so um, for, what do you think about in the world? Like these people at least know about the Bible. So they have an opinion on it. So if you go out there in the world, people are like, what are you talking about? This earth is flat. They'll be like, don't make fun of you flathead and all that. Say that this is hell. They'll be like, what are you talking about? And then, um, you know, then the market would be so like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, it's okay. I debunked that or it's not true or whatever. It's not it's never going to happen. Yada, yada, yada. So you won't even get to those. Okay. With the people out there. And so wake up, man. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.